Is the Nintendo Switch dying? Is it silent before the storm? Are we getting a new Nintendo Switch announcement this year? I mean, who knows? But I sat down to write the list and I also asked in the community tab, what are the upcoming already announced Switch games that are coming out now in 2024 and beyond? And it was then that I realized that a lot of remakes and remasters are having their time to shine right now. <laughs> so to me, this is saying that it is silent before the storm. With the next Nintendo Direct coming in June, someone said on Discord. Join the Discord, that's where you get to, to know stuff. But I did make a list and let's go over all of the games. Now we have Monster Hunter Stories, remake of this game, coming June the 14th. I played it on the 3DS back in the day. <laughs> I hate saying back in the day when it comes to the 3DS, but it is actually back in the day right now. So I can tell you what I remember from the game since I already played it. Well, it's a monster collecting RPG. You collect eggs. Actually, you steal eggs from nests. <laughs> it has super cute graphics, rideable mounts, turn-based combat, but it's very simple and fun and easy to understand. I remember liking the game. And since we have Monster Hunter Stories 2 on the Switch, it would make sense to bring back number one as well to the same console. I will be playing it again just to see how they remastered it from the 3DS version. So that is uh, June the 14th. Now we have Shin Megami Tensei 5 coming out with something new. It is now called Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance and I was uh, kind of confused. Is this a remake? Is it a remaster? What is going on? So when I googled it, it specifically said that it's kind of two games in one. A lot of new content, like a new story arc going on. Now, I love this game. Link in the corner to my first thoughts video on Shin Megami Tensei 5. I remember loving it. It was so unique. But now, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, which is also coming out on June 14th, together with Monster Hunter Stories remake. Vengeance is now coming for the PlayStation as well and other consoles, if I remember correctly, but I'm gonna play it on the PS5. I'm so gonna review the game. Looking forward to the new content. Apparently, also a lot of quality of life features to the original storyline game, and also brand new branching path of new stuff, according to Google. I can see how people would be confused, maybe thinking that it's just a remake, but it is apparently something new. We will see, okay, I will make a video on that later. My plushie is still up. We are trying to reach the 100 sold goal for it to go into production. Check it out with the link down below. That would mean so much to me. Thank you everyone that has pre-ordered it. So another remake, we have Luigi's Mansion 2 coming June 27th. This one, another 3DS game. The second entry in the Luigi's Mansion series. It also makes sense for Luigi's Mansion 2 to shine again because I had forgotten how old this game is. 2013. <laughs> 2013. I mean, time flies by so fast. I remember picking this one up. So Luigi's Mansion 2, they have upgraded all of their graphics. It looks um, super good. It also did look super good on the 3DS. I thought that it was one of the most beautiful looking 3DS games on the 3DS when I was playing it. And I wanna say that the Luigi's Mansion series is known for having like just stellar graphics. It was mind blowing, even on the GameCube back in the day on that system and uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 on the 3DS and Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is coming to the Switch. Good stuff. If you are already a fan of Luigi's Mansion, this is the time for you to pick up uh, the second game remastered. It's basically just time. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the next game that I wrote down in my list, your most anticipated game. Probably mine too, let's be real. Fantasy Life I, The Girl Who Steals Time. Now I've been watching this trailer probably three times and I am seeing where they are going with the gameplay. They are very true to the original, it seems, including some time travel. In the trailer, they are specifically saying that you travel back in time to gather resources to use in the now. Also, all of the classes are present. You can choose to be a carpenter, an archer, an amazing 
age. And the graphics are cozy. This is the definition of cozy graphics. Green grass game, definitely. So it has all of the life simulator elements that I know that you love. Uh, like decorating your home, doing side quests, also some fighting and stuff. And I remember that it is such a satisfying gameplay loop. I loved this game. It's not this game, it's a new game. But this is the previous Fantasy Life game on the 3DS. And Fantasy Life had such a fan base that it was about time that they did something new with Fantasy Life and that is coming and we are just grateful for that now. That is coming out October the 10th. A lot of you said also Tomb Raider 1 to 3 remastered 24th of August, physical edition. A lot of you were looking forward to the physical one of that. Okay, so over to no dates games. We have Pokemon Legends Set A. I think it's a wordplay from Pokemon X and Y because it's taking place in the same region this time around as in Pokemon X and Y. And that is confirmed for 2025, maybe on the next console. Maybe actually on the next console from Nintendo. Hoping for that. Imagine that. I would explode of excitement. I would so explode. I loved Pokemon Legends Arceus. Not sure if it's Arceus. Someone said it was definitely ours. But Arceus, I think it's called. Loved it so much. That's gonna be a game where my friends will not be seeing me for three days. Definitely. It's that type of game for me, uh, excitement wise. Now another game that has no release date. Epic Mickey Rebrushed. They are remaking Epic Mickey, which I also played on the Wii. I played it so much. It was a fun time. 2011. I bought it on GameStop 2011. Very good. Now let's see, what do I remember from this game? I tried to watch some videos of this game just to see what I remember. I mean, it's almost a lifetime ago that I played it. But I remember it was fun painting stuff with one brush and you use a thinner on the other brush. You can erase the stuff and paint stuff. I remember that being a whole thing and it was funny. Also, it's such a love letter to old style Disney stuff. All old Disney cartoons, old forgotten Disney characters. It's a love letter to that and that era, which we were not alive to experience. Most of us, anyway. And you really get a sense of that original first Disney magic. It's a 3D platformer. I remember liking it. It is also sort of dark and sort of weird. Whoa. Good. But that is coming out remastered and I think that is a worthy title to remaster. Which means I also want Epic Mickey 2 to be remastered at some point because I played that one way more than the first one. I just loved Epic Mickey 2. That was really good. Tales of the Shire, a new life simulator coming. My sister-in-law is so looking forward to it because she is obsessed with Dreamlight Valley and this is probably gonna be her next obsession. I don't know. I don't know much about it. Uh, I wrote it down. <laughs> That's it. Uh, heads up for Tales of the Shire live sim coming, apparently. Now, also later we have Death and Request 3. It has no confirmed date or anything, it's just announced. Also, I'm very much looking forward to the next Rune Factory games and the next Story of Seasons games. Now we just have to wait for the Nintendo Direct that is coming now in June to see what they have in store for us. Besides what I mentioned in this video, obviously. <laughs> Join the Discord, hit like on this video if you are new to Isha Gaming. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later very soon. I'm gonna cover the direct, make a video on that.